Winona State University is about to enhance its community presence because of generous donations. News 19's Dave Soley recently spent some time on campus and joins us, Dave, to talk about these gifts, one many already know about. Yeah, Heather, the university recently released some information on what one faculty member calls a transformative gift. But we're going to begin in the past, about five years ago, because a gift provided then will help you better understand what will happen in the future. The history of this building is integral to the history of Winona. It's in a particularly beautiful part of Winona. It's known as the Laird Norton Building, once serving as the corporate headquarters for the Laird Norton Company, named for two families in the lumber business, instrumental in the development of the city. Winona became a very affluent town because of the Laird family and the Norton family. About five years ago, members of those families donated this building to Winona State University, a building that features natural light and a grand staircase as you walk through the entrance. The handrails are wood, supported by wrought iron with intricate patterns, a beautiful space that will become the Laird Norton Center for Art and Design. The building is a, on the brink of becoming a very public asset. Because along with providing office and classroom space, the university has additional grand plans for this building, consistent with this structural work of art. Uh, maybe one thing I would say is... Winona well, State President Scott Olson says the project is possible in part because of another donation, the largest gift the university has received, more than five million dollars. And the gift will allow us to open some public art galleries in here that'll be first class. Galleries named for the generous donor, Maynard Mo Weber. Mr. Weber graduated from Winona State in 1950. Mo found himself nearby in Wisconsin because of uh, his time in the military, fell in love with the Winona State campus, came here as a student, and even after he had moved back to the East Coast, he kept us in our hearts. He visited almost every year for his whole life, and then at the end of his life gave us this amazing, amazing gift. Some of the featured works in the galleries will come from Moe's father, Max. Max was an artist, a famous artist. His father's legacy in terms of bringing, really bringing Cubism to the United States. Roger Bollet explained that Cubism is a style of art that explores how you show a three-dimensional world on a two-dimensional surface. Among other styles, Pablo Picasso engaged in a Cubist period, and as it turns out, Picasso and Max Weber developed a friendship. And um, whenever you went to visit Mo, you know, his home was just full of beautiful modern art, and he casually had a, a Picasso hanging over the sofa uh, the way uh, you or I might have a movie poster hanging over the sofa. <laughs> Just, yeah, that's one. That's one of them. <laughs> For many years, um, Picasso and Moe's father, Max, exchanged paintings, and so he had a trove of those. In what will become the reception area of the Laird Norton Center for Art and Design, Boulet shared some of Max Weber's work. This painting is an example, he says, of neo-cubism. It has elements of cubism and how uh, sort of perception is played with, you know, and then like play with color. So you have yellow, yellow, and then little pockets of yellow in different places, and then red, red, and blue, and then, you know, um, red, yellow, and blue are, of course, the primary colors. and. Uh, you know, sort of help lead your eye around a composition. Um, and then there's, there's other works like this with, you know, this is a very different style. This isn't necessarily, I don't think you could um, describe this as cubist. But you can describe it as integral to this story because this piece of art helps to find part of Mo Weber's life. It also helps to explain his gift, his love for Winona State University and the university's love for Maynard Mo Weber. And tomorrow night, we'll look more closely at Max Weber's football painting because it will help you better understand Mo while explaining in a broader context his historic gift.
Heather. This is some story, That's Dave. Great. great job. I look forward to Thank seeing you. part two. Now, as you may have guessed, Moe's donation goes beyond the art gallery, and we'll tell you who else will benefit from Mr. Weber's generosity.